Hey guys, welcome back to OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and in this video, we are going to learn how to upgrade Oracle 19.3 version into Oracle 19.16 applying the patch. I know lot of people like my videos and they want my regular videos, but I'm really sorry for that. Due to busy in my job, I'm unable to upload the videos on daily basis actually. Thank you for those people who writing in the comment box that uh, then want my video regular basis now i will try to upload a video at least within a week i request to all of you if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe ocp technology youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you will get my all the new video notification so without wasting your time let's move on the computer screen and start the practically guys before starting the patching process we need a step by step document which we are going to follow in this video so just open the google and write patching 19.3 to 19.16 ocp technology and open this first link which is the step by step document now you have a proper document with the complete steps to complete this activity we need to download the following patch number from the official website of oracle.com here is a note which is saying before applying the patch make sure the below points should be clear okay you must go through the readme file which you will get inside the patch download the following patch number from the official website and make sure the o patch minimum version should be 1220130 so let's download the o patch and patch from the oracle.com or you can use these download buttons which directly take you on the download link but for that you need a metalink user id password i have already downloaded both files when you trying to download the o patch version you will see this type of interface in front of you okay so here you need to select a release number which is your o patch release and for which platform and which is the latest o patch release available here it will be show here and you can just click on the download button then the file will be downloaded let's go on the next step okay now here is the first step let's check the o patch version first using the following commands it will show you the current o patch version let me do it quickly As you can see in my case it is showing the o patch number 12201.17 but as we already discussed the minimum o patch version required 12201.30 let's update the o patch before updating the o patch version you should take the o patch backup o patch backup is nothing just a make a duplicate copy of the o patch directory you can follow me using the mv command i'm going to create a duplicate copy of the o patch Okay, let me show you my downloaded patches. Let me unzip the o patch latest version inside the Oracle Home directly. O patch is unzipped. Let's check the O patch version now. Okay, finally you can see here our O patch version has been upgraded. But before moving on the next step, let's get little information from the database like database version and DBA underscore registry details. So let me do it quickly.
and take this information as a backup on your notepad so that we can verify the information after completing of the patching okay now here is the two important points take a oracle home backup okay i already done that next option is that take full database arm and backup or create a guaranteed restore point the second option is a very important so you should careful about that okay so this is my test environment so i'm not going to take any backup let's move on the next step you can take the oracle home backup using the following command step number three let's unzip the patch in my case my patch directory is u03 so i'm going to unzip my patch also in the u03 After unzip, let's run the next step, which is the prerequisite check. So let me run the following command and check the prerequisite. Basically, that command will verify your database is ready for the patching. So just do it quickly. See, our prerequisite has been passed now. So that means our database is ready for the patching. Okay, step number five, stop all the database services, including listener. Let me verify first and stop all the database services quickly. Just follow me. If you are using the PDB CDB concept, then you should stop the PDB CDB databases also. Okay, again, as a one note, make sure 7 GB disk space is available on your Oracle home binary location. So let me verify at my end. In my case, there is a 4.7 GB space. So let me clear the space quickly and then we go for the next step. And now finally, I have a 7.6 GB disk space at my Oracle home location mount point. Now this is the time to apply the patch. Just follow me. The opatch apply command is apply the patch at binary level. Let me do it quickly. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Press the Y button. Okay. It is asking here, is the local system ready for patching? Yes. My system is ready for patching. Type Y and enter. It will take little time. Till then, I am going to fast forward my video. Congratulations, your patching has been successfully applied. Let's go for the next step now. Here is the log file. If you want to check, you just open and read the patching log file. Next step is just start the all the database services with the listener. Okay, let me do it quickly. Just follow me. If you are using PDB CDB concept, then you should start up your PDB CDB both. Next step is run the data page hyphen verbose command, which apply the patch information in the database binary and dictionary level also. So let me do it quickly. It will take some time. So let me fast forward my video. Okay, patching has been successful now. In the next step, just run the utilrp.sql file, which is just validate the invalid objects. So let me run it. Let's verify the patch detail using the ls inventory. Finally, our patch successfully applied. You can see here, this is the 20th January early morning. I'm recording this video. Let's verify the patch detail at database level also using the following command. Great, patching information is correct and the patching is applied successfully. Let's verify the invalid objects detail. 
great there is no invalid objects let's check the database registry also okay finally our database registry also is the perfect position finally our patching has been successfully completed guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if yes please like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel ocp technology thanks for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye